just let me know if it's too low or too loud like that's let me know you guys you guys are gonna have to guide me Here we go. Audio's up. We good. Ooh, you gotta wait. I can't turn it up too much louder. It's up, it's up. Can y'all hear it? Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the, I don't know, that thing, that magic. I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounded more and more like a snee eye yitz every day. My job, my oh score, boy. get your own. We should talk about work. We out here gangbanging like it's 91. We all love banks. Get me a DJ. I might get a copyright for this one. Give me a hand with these bodies. Cannot be traced back to me. Champagne, anyone? Just sort of smash things. So now what? I tell you what I tell you they gonna keep this game alive until six drop wow wow there you go if you ain't got GTA if you ain't got GTA get it now I already have GTA for the um, PlayStation We don't know. We gotta wait and see. Allegedly, this is just games only. Oh, 
It was great to kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now, and we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5, but today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years, when we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Ooh, let's get it. It's captured from the PlayStation 5. PlayStation Studio. This is an exclusive. This looks like a superhero. A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Spider-Man. Your dad said that. Is he? was right. Now it's your turn. Go be a hero, Miles. Miles? Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh wait. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, wait. Ooh, is, a... is this a new Spider-Man game or a DLC? My guy Miles at his own. Look up. Let's go, yo! My guy Miles got his own hookup. Holiday 2020 and is dropping this year. えっと今日は皆さんに僕らが作っている新しいグランツーリスモの情報をシェアできるということですごく興奮しています。え、今回のグランツーリスモはおそらくこれまでのね、グランツーリスモのファンの方がプレイしたら本当に嬉しいんじゃないかなっていう、ま、キャンペーンモードを中心にしたグランツーリスモになってると思います。ぜひ楽し
audio sounds great for this. Yeah, man, I need to play that Need for Speed Heat. I still have that boy. Another PlayStation exclusive. Keep throwing them in. Yeah. Gretchen and Clank. You all right back, back there? No way. Low key sleeper. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get to... Right. The ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have the low key sleeper. Sight. They have found us, Ratchet. Uh, 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 How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, we'll please. Get this is Spider-Man. Come on. Dimensions are weakening considerably. I, will, I think they will. I think they have a Fortnite. Epic already said they're working close with PlayStation. Well, it is certainly not good. Great! Where are we? Yo, I know, right? That's Spider Man. Horizon Zero Dawn will be the last game they show. Mark my words. Horizon Zero Dawn. Get off me, ship! Star, what's up? How you doing? Ratchet. We are too late. Ratchet? Who? There's a female version? Holy crap. That was kind of a shocker. <laughs> Low key. Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a brand new, full length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able to do before, like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly, or put ray trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the DualSense controller's enhanced feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Yeah, we gotta rock that. We gotta play this on the stream. Did you see that? Oh, that was dope. What am I riding through? Off the long axe. <laughs> Yo, this looks clean. Clank. That's not bad. What you guys think of this so far? From above. A kraken? Or at least a very large octopus. This looks dope. I will never get used to that. Hey, to break reality. Don't let him get to the boss! Did Duncan at various greenery resurface after all these years just to try... And take over the universe again. Yeah. Battle. I kind of wish he was doing a worse job. He must have more plans than me. That's what I'm afraid of. Yes. 
I kind of agree with you, though, low key. Let's go, let's go. These are titles. I think this is something I'm going to play. My son is back when I say he's going to play this too. Come on. Maybe they had their own game plan. You never know. on the PlayStation 5. I think they're slowly revealing the PlayStation and how it looks. My heart can't take it already. What is this? Giants exclusively for the PlayStation 5. Yeah, man, they doing they, they doing their thing. I bet you they slowly revealing the PlayStation. Or something. Something's up with this. I just want to see the PlayStation and the controller. I see you, baby girl. <laughs> I think you can't play DVDs on the PlayStation 5. You should be able to play everything on there. Cat look clean, low key. You hear the pearl? Can y'all hear the cat pearl? That's sweet. Love support key. Appreciate your Xbox.
Thank you for keeping the head, Jay. Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock, and it's a, a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. will let us tell stories, make worlds, great gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. This is what they was talking about with the audio. Over and over. I relive my first moments on this alien planet. The crash. The attack. Gatter. My death. The crash. The attack. My death. Trapped in this endless cycle. Is this a cinematic or is this gameplay? No escape. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. As if changing. This world is becoming part of me. Infecting my mind. My memories. I spend here. The more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope. My only choice is to keep fighting. To keep looking for answers. My only hope is to break the cycle. Before the cycle... Yeah, man, this is a real thing. ...breaks me. Not bad. I want to know what stage is all gameplay. That's, that's amazing. It's just all gameplay, no cinematic with them. These are our PlayStation exclusives. have a PlayStation 5, you could play PlayStation 4 games on it. If you have a PlayStation 4, you can't play PlayStation 5 games on it. Xbox have it, so if you have a PlayStation Series X, you can still play their games all across up until the first year. That's why they have on um, the smart delivery feature. Never been a big fan of this, but doesn't look too bad, you know.
No. PlayStation said it has no intentions of releasing a PlayStation 5 game for the PlayStation 4. They say they want to keep pushing forward. So there's a PlayStation 5 game. Like Spider-Man, Spider-Man will be a PlayStation 5 game. Spider-Man will not be a PlayStation 4 game. But something like Halo, Halo Infinite is a PlayStation uh, Xbox Series X game and an Xbox One game. You, you get, get what I'm saying? They said they want to keep pushing forward with, with games. That's why a lot of people was applauding Xbox because Xbox, like for the first year or two, Xbox Series X would not have an exclusive because they want people to continue playing Xbox One. This is like an upgraded version of um, Rocket League. <laughs> yeah, you could go with that one too. Absolutely. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Greer, and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. Sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. Ooh, that was cold. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. That was dope. Cannot hide your weakness from me. You. That's a great question. Would you have no power here? Kenna. This looks nice. I might. I might play this one. Um, that's a great question with GTA. I don't know. At the end of the at the end of uh, the press conference or the event, we'll talk about that. Bring that back up at the end of this because that is actually a great question. That would be amazing if it could. But I think I read something about that um, with GTA. That's why I say bring it back up at the end of this because I kind of want to touch bases on it. You gotta love rumors, man.
Dang, you somebody feel phone, like bro. you're just waiting for a sign <laughs> to do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. Yes, I, I agree with but you. But something's holding me back. GTA definitely pushed. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that to the next level. I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. I think Cyberpunk could do something but like that. If we've got nothing go else online. to lose, might as well jump. If Cyberpunk the big as they say online would be. I think in order for them to add real life cars to GTA, they'll have to do like PC and star. Uh, Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, and I'm here to share play. with you a Modern. game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. Hey, this look like um, what's it called it? Yeah, it is. Y'all bringing they it believe, back? Trusted, followed. What is it called? Ali World, Ob World. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. I used to play these. <laughs> yeah, we all waiting to see how the console looks. JC was popular. This looks fly, low key. Dang. that other game similar to this it's called soul something isn't it where my old school um where my old head gamers what's that other game it's called soul something playstation 5 によって我々の考える東京のビジュアルを実現できました今までに見たことのない東京の魅力を見て聞いて感じることができますこれからお見せするのはゴーソワイヤ東京の世界初のゲームプレイ動画ですスーパーナチュラルでミステリアスな東京、そこに潜む脅威と美しさを感じ取っていただけると思います。ぜひお楽しみください。I thought, yo, I thought this was a PlayStation 4 game when they announced this. You see things others can't. Your threats, others don't. <laughs> Fight when others won't. Well, you're a scary game. It's up to you to save Tokyo.
<laughs> he made some tea. year that probably be like beginning of next year yeah man I love scary games He look like Lee from Naruto. Oh, Sensei, God Sensei. Man, all these little games good and all, but I'm ready to see some real stuff. Y'all start off strong with Spider-Man, Ratchet and Clank. Be ready. I'm ready. This look fly, cause this look like this could be competing with No Man's Sky. Which if that's the case, this is gonna be huge, but I'm ready to see real stuff. Last of Us 2. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm already up on game with that one. <laughs> this look like this could be interesting if you're into that type of game. No Man's Sky, they just put that on Xbox. It's a crossplay, actually. They just did a big update. They made a crossplay with Xbox and PlayStation. Where you travel from planet to planet, experimenting and exploring and things like that. I've been wanting to see this. Let's see some gameplay. This is a slasher and looter game, right? Make way for the king of kings for a long stretch, no limousine. If you talk about the slash and looter, I'm the biggest one of those you ever seen. I'ma need a crown. I'm the only one that ever held it down at the tip top. People flip flop every day, not I top five. I'm a big shot. I'm the one that wanna take the big shots. It's coming, fam. Big rings, big rocks, big bag, big moves, big cars, big man, big plan, get lost in this walk. Look at me now. Kill me down. So give me the, give me the crown, make way for the tank. Oh my god, I like armor. This looks dope. I'm definitely um, grinding this one. We're not the same, we're not the same. We're not the same, we run everything. We're not the same, we're not the same. They I can't get it like a, um... Make way for the king. Maybe a Warframe vibe from this. What do you guys think? Yeah, this game right here. Like, this is the game I'm definitely waiting for. This is definitely a day one. That Godfall, that's definitely a day one for me. Any type of slash or looter. And I think that's the only slash or looter game out besides Warframe. Yeah. Man, 
look at the colors on this. Yeah. They need more looters or games you grind. They need more of that on console. Like the division and like things like that is cool, but they need more. But like you said, the MMO world. And I think I think Xbox will probably be the one that can push that forward because they connect it to the PC world. 1080p, six frames a second. PlayStation announced that all the games will be shown at 1080p, but when you buy it, it will be 4K. So keep that in mind. Yeah, man, they're doing they're doing really good here. Besides Spider-Man, Ratchet and Clank, I don't have a big wow just yet. Yo, Hitman, we should stream that. I never played um, the newer Hitman games. We should it was stream always gonna Hitman end like this. Y'all down for that? Would y'all watch that? All your hard work. I haven't played Hitman in All your years. sacrifice. PlayStation 3 made Only sped too. up the process. That's dope. That's day one for us, you guys. Yo, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Hakan Abra here it, from so Iron Tractive. That's a day one for us. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract in his entire career. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world. I mean, they show some good Dubai. stuff, baby girl. Enjoy. Only while I get out of this so far with Spider-Man and Ratchet and Clank. Like those are my two. <gasps> like so far, they just been they've been straight with me. You know, they've been kind of like, a, oh, okay, that's dope. They bringing that back, but I'm waiting for the big news, and I think it's going to be the very last game of the press conference. This looks good, the lightning. I was reflecting off his mask and that looks nice. That looks nice. Yeah, man, we're gonna have to play this, you guys. We're gonna have to get this. We're gonna have to get this, most definitely. Um, safety board. What? What? Yo, this the interface. Is this the PlayStation Five interface? This how it looks. Oh, y'all suck. Why would y'all tease us like that? like three games and Hitman is like that third game that got me like I mean Godfall we knew about we already knew about Godfall so that that's that's not part of the list but that's an ugly ass controller baby girl stop <laughs> the controller looks 
It, it, it looks straight. It took me a while to get used to it. Because I'm not used to PlayStation having that fat style. But it looks straight now. I like it. I'm a fan of it. You had to rebuy all the games. All the games you're seeing is for PlayStation 5. So I don't think they'll be on PlayStation 4. Sony want their games. Sony want next gen games to stay on next gen. I don't like the Xbox Patrol, so that's not my opinion. What's on the Xbox Patrol? I think it fits very well into your hand. Hey, Raj, shut up. Now, nah, that's true. And people will go broke to get this. I have small hands. It'll be okay, baby girl. It'll be okay. Yeah, GTA 5, because they, they GTA making money. So why not keep GTA 5 alive and add more content to it? I think GTA just hit like 60 or 70 million freaking con um, games sold. Like, yeah, GTA is... Me, so why not keep five alive until six I mean GTA six probably Little devil inside GTA six you probably can't have the some son Hey baby girl keep Hey, <laughs> we're going to say that for the Twitch stream. We're going to say that discussion for the Twitch stream. We're going to keep it clean on YouTube. What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Well, we got some Here 2K? we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. 2K21. We got 2K21 gameplay. I'm excited because y'all know I'm a 2K fan. 2K21, baby. Let's do it. And it's real footage. Let's go. I'm, yeah, I need this. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever okay, owns the place got to drag me out. All the 2K streamers about to, yo, this looks, wow. That looks that close up. It really good. Let's go 2K21. That close up of him looks freaking amazing. That I can say. I can't wait to see Park on there. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm jumping ahead. I'm sorry. Now we got four games I'm excited for. 2K gonna be lit, y'all. We, we might have to start dropping 2K videos on the channel. Yes, I do play 2K. I love 2K. I played every single 2K since the Dreamcast. Y'all didn't even know 2K. It was on Dreamcast. That's where it first started. Yes. Amazing, aren't they? Half bug, half snack. You say sneakers were ugly. A very ugly. recently discovered species stop. entirely unique to this island. Oh, stop. I see you in the building, 2KG. What's poppin'? Beautiful seed patterns. And it's tasty too. Welcome to the island of bug snakes. Like a the baby wolf. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, these games look cool. 
And there's nothing wrong with these. They, honestly, I will probably play all the games they show because I just want to try different type of games. But at the end of the day, you can't complain about what they are showing because they are showing games. One, they're showing games, and two, my invitation they dropping is stuff open. here and there. Come join me on the island of Spice. <sighs> Liz, I um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it. And, you got a cinnamon uh, bun on your fire. hand? Oh, Somebody about to eat you. Again? Oh yeah, we already know Kobe gonna be on the um, collector edition, legendary edition. Kobe's gonna be on the hands down. If, he, if Kobe not on the legendary edition, people gonna be upset. I put that. I put money on that one. <laughs> yeah, King, good game, but not for me. Absolutely, JC. I mean, these are games. Those, those are games I'll probably play with my kids. That's a two. I'm, I'm reading way too much into this, probably. <laughs> give me a give me a release date. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. Horizon Zero Dawn 2. I'm calling it Horizon Zero Dawn 2. And it's a PlayStation Studio. I'm putting money on it. That or Uncharted. I got 50 cents on my desk. Man, look at the weather. Now this looks good. What the freak? Souls? May I don't know. What is this? Dark Souls? <laughs> Diablo? Dark Souls. May I don't know. Let me just shut up. Destin is a next-gen first-person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision, what Arkane is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay, a surreal player-driven story smashed together. <laughs> Want to see some stylish action? Check this out. I have no idea. It's funny because people was actually dogging Xbox players because they say all the Xbox games look cartoony and now PlayStation doing this. Again, nothing Hello, wrong with it, but... Cult, my predecessor, has been pronounced guilty of treason. He is to be shot on sight and forth in perpetuity. Your assistance is appreciated and it's mandatory. The real party doesn't start until he's dead. Uh, she is not making this easy. You already know, fam. Both of them coming home day one. I have, I have Best Buy, GameStop, Sony, and Amazon logged in up right now on my second monitor. So if they do pre-orders, I'm I'm clicking on it immediately. <laughs> so you already know they coming home. That's how we load gun. Now, hey, baby girl, you gotta get it how you can. Don't nobody get time to be doing one by one. <laughs> Bust it. 
Yo, that DE or whatever that look cold. If you pre-order a lot of times, if you pre-order, they won't charge you until the item is ready to ship. Another day, another death. A lot of times pre-order won't cost you nothing. Until like two weeks until the product is ready to ship. A never-ending party where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter hey. how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Where it's mad at God. People was looking for a, uh, a black ops. People were hoping for black ops. I mean, it's still going on, so we might get it. Every loop I'm learning, you never know, we might get it. Piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets. They all gotta die before midnight. I was thinking that baby girl. Like do remind me of uh, Shaft. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake. Black Reef's protector and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this. Fucking loop. Hey. Grab a size in the time. See, this looks dope. I know this look kind of cartoony. This looks dope. Watching you die. Subscribe like to your channel, you. JC man. It's thank different. you so much, fam. And thank you for being in here kicking it with us and watching this. Thank you so much. Y'all been showing crazy love today. Like real talk. Madden stream will probably be part of EA. Um does EA have a press conference coming up? So Madden will probably be on EA press conference. Madden Battlefield, things like that. Star Wars. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father. It was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. Could be a horror game. What is it with that creepy story? Is this a, is this Silent Just Hill? A local tale. You're really into that stuff. Quit being so paranoid. I got like a Silent Hill vibe from you. No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? What are you? They're coming. Who is? Yeah, I don't. This is not a silent heal. Why he plays game? I don't know. I feel you, baby girl. I don't know. What is this? I did get like a Silent Hill vibe from this. It's like a werewolf. Oh, 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 Resident. 
evil. Chris? Sorry. Is that rampant? Why? Oh, Resident Evil. Oh, let's go. That just top, that is my number one game. Spider-Man, no disrespect, but Resident Evil. <laughs> Yo, let's get it. Y'all know that's a day one. What the heck is this? It look like dead space to me. No, this look like the vision. I don't like a Resident Evil game, baby girl. Oh my goodness. Go take that nap. <laughs> I know, man, we got to see what this console look like. They probably won't even show it. What's this death standing DLC? Super picky. Ain't nothing wrong with that baby girl. <laughs> Say, oh, I gotta come to your state and mess it up. <laughs> what the heck is this? Dang, 2022. So she could just breathe this space. <laughs> Here we go. Y'all better show me Horizon Zero Dawn, dang it. Y'all better show me something. Resident Evil, though, would look leaked. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. FYI, I still haven't played Resident Evil 7. The old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. This look In their place, free. came new life. Wow, this look good. Wow, this look good. What is this? Look at the details. The new dangers. Oh, let's get it! Spider-Man and this, this the same day of the no PlayStation 5. Wow. 
That looks freaking gorgeous. No secret. I won't unlock. No barrier. I won't cross. Horizon Zero Dawn 2. This mission is mine alone. Damn, this look good. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. I just got chills. I just got real life chill. On behalf of the entire team at Garuk, at Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Elga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. When it's coming out. Holy crap. I think wow. there's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are gonna be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. Oh, more atmospheric, goodness. immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Expect the unexpected. And I, for one, can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about learning for the players and for the players. As a developer, that's an amazing feeling to have. This might be a console review. Welcome, Welcome to PlayStation, PlayStation 5. 5. Console reveal. There you go, boys. What it look like? Show us. I like how they took the Xbox approach. I'm glad they did that. shape Woo, there we go the playstation 5 the leaks are true yo that look clean Woo -hoo, my goodness yo i can't handle this that looks really good That looks really good. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, they have two PlayStation 4s. Oh, y'all sneaky. Y'all took the page from the Xbox. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we've put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Yo. Wow. They did that for the price difference. I bet you. We have lots to talk about, you guys. Stay in the room. We have lots to talk about. I bet you they did that for the price difference. They took the book out of people with dog and Xbox when they Whatever did it. Comes. But it was a smart move. If you get rid of the drive, the disc drive, ready. your console would be at least 100 to 150 cheaper. They was very smart with that. In my case, I don't use my disc drive. I bought my games digital, so that camera looked dope. So I'll probably still get both. Wow. 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 This hit over this hit a million people watching it. Seven point five out of ten, no. Nah. They did good. I would definitely give it a nine. I would definitely give it a nine. I would definitely give it a nine. Yo, my mouse is lagging. What's what's going on? Couple things here. Here's the reason. First off, 
that was a smart move because the rumors were they could not get the price of the PlayStation down. So the PlayStation might be X amount of dollars, five, six, even to the 700 range. By them removing it, that disk drive, and make it all digital, they they did what Xbox did. And when Xbox did theirs, it worked. When Xbox got rid of the drive, the disk drive, it worked because it was a hundred to one hundred fifty dollars cheaper, and for people like me that download all of my games, it would benefit me now because I'm a nerd and I'm a geek. I would definitely want the disk drive just to say I have the disk drive, but for people that can't afford the extra one fifty or maybe two hundred dollars, you could still get your hands on the PlayStation Five. Like, do that, do that make sense? That's why they did that. That was amazing. That, they, that was smart because Xbox did not want to show off, a.k.a. Lockhart, the, the, the smaller Xbox Series X. They didn't want to show it yet, not to their event. And PlayStation beat them to it. That was good. That was good. That 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 was that was perfect. A PlayStation coming from a, a gamer and Xbox fan, PlayStation, y'all y'all did it. Y'all did really well. Me and my boys was just talking about which system we was picking up first. I'm in a group chat. It's like me and, and a few of my homies, like seven or eight of us in there. We all was just talking about which console we're getting first. I said I was grabbing me and uh, two other dudes. Like they grabbing both of them day one if they can. But the other everybody else like they was getting the PlayStation Five. But um, yeah, man, that 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 was freaking. That was nice. See you later, fam. Thank you for thank you guys for coming to watch this with me. Thank you. That that was nice. That was nice. How do you guys feel about it? My thing is lagging. I need to. Why is it lagging? Like. Eight out of ten, ten out of ten. They beat them to the punch. Yeah, they definitely beat them to the punch. But now it's still the price difference. But now that this might be more affordable. Like my boy just hit me up and was like, the PlayStation looks sexy, especially that digital version. Like. <laughs> Yeah. That looks that looks that looks that looks clean. I like that the bl the blue LED lights is on the side of it. Like y'all see the blue LED lights? I like how that look. Let me see. Because you already know it's trending on Twitter. You already know it's all over Twitter. So I like that blue light right there. I like that blue light. That looks freaking good. That looks freaking good. I was hoping we could have had a pre-order in, but it's all good. It's all good. Mashup, how you doing, fam? Welcome to the stream. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, man, no pre-orders. It does look good, but I need all black with the red light. Oh yeah, they 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 need to come out with a black version eventually. I thought they'll show a black version here because people was complaining about the white controller, but they're they're gonna come out with a black version, guarantee. Um, back to the question about GTA going from allegedly there's a, another rumor that when GTA Six come out, you supposed to be going from um like all the GTA worlds supposed to be in GTA Six. So you could travel to San Andreas and like you could travel from one to another. That's the rumor on the GTA 6. That's the rumor. Like you do supposed to be able to travel, but you're supposed to be able to travel to the iconic GTAs. Each, you see what I'm saying? Like that's the big thing. But um, sorry about that. The my my chat going crazy now, <laughs> my group chat. But yeah, like GTA is supposed to be like that. But like I said, they just now start making GTA Six this year. Like they just got the story, character, and all that down packed. So GTA, that's why they bringing GTA Five to the new consoles. It'll be another three or four years before we get our hands on a GTA Six. I didn't delete your comment. No, I didn't delete it. So, but yeah, man, this, this looks good. You guys, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. I was worried about how it will look because they was having problems keeping the processor cool. That's why Xbox was made how it's made because they was trying to keep the component cool enough. So it won't overheat. PlayStation was having that problem. with trying to keep the fan from being too loud and things like that. So if they can accomplish the fan being quiet, no overheat issues, and it still looks like this, then yeah, shout out to shout out to Sony and the developer team or the architect team, actually. Like this looks really clean. Like I can't knock it. Like this, this, that, that looks freaking amazing. It looked better than I thought it was gonna look. Absolutely, baby girl. Absolutely, I'm loving that light on the side of it. Like I'm loving that light on the side of it. Yeah. Good going, Sony. Good going, Sony. <laughs> they stupid. The PS5 look great, but how much will it cost? Honestly, let me ask you guys. And, and be honest, be honest. I mean, you guys are always honest, but be honest. Do it matter how much it costs? Seriously, like, do it matter how much it costs? Honestly, be be honest. Because for me, it doesn't matter. If they, if they, it doesn't matter. If they drop a thousand dollar price tag on this, I'll just be getting it. Whatever. <laughs> same with Xbox. Like, same with just a console. Period. 
because I'm a gamer. If they drop something like that, especially with these two big names, like a Google Stadium, hell no, I won't even pay fifty dollars for that. But a PlayStation or Xbox, like yeah, right. And I agree. So that so that goes back to the original question in the beginning of the stream when people was like, "How much will it cost?" How, how much will it cost? We do want to know the price, but at the end of the day, do it matter how much it costs? It doesn't. It doesn't. I, I follow so many, I follow a lot of people on um, on my Twitter that talk about gaming, whatever, and it's amazing how you see people saying like, they've been saving over the past year for this. Like, people been saving one dude was like, I've been putting, I've been putting a hundred dollars per checkup because he want to buy this and the games and the accessories, Like he want no excuse when it, this come out. So it's like, those are, those are true gamers. Like those are gamers. Like you get me when PlayStation two came out, I paid $800 for my PlayStation two because I just needed to have it day one. PlayStation 2 was like $300. So it's like, yeah, we want to know how much the price is, but at the end of the day, we're going to get it. <laughs> we're going to get it. Rather, it's day one, month one, or year one. We're going to end up getting this. Seriously. I will probably... Uh, I bet more like six ninety nine. I could definitely see. I could definitely see this being. Okay, so by the article saying they was having problems with keeping the cost down because it costs so much to make the PlayStation Five, I can see the PlayStation Five with the disc going for like six hundred dollars. Six or six fifties. I will probably say six forty nine. Because now you have all the goodies in there to run any type of Blu-ray disc you put in there. The games still, you know, all the bells and whistles, no load time, SSD, all that. I could see it being like six to six fifty. With that being said, the PlayStation 5 digital edition. I could see that being like five hundred dollars, four hundred. Honestly, I, I I could see them I could see them taking a loss on the digital to make more sale. If that makes sense, because a lot of people don't know, but when the PlayStation Four came out, they only made like an eighteen dollar profit off the PlayStation Four each console. Like they was trying to keep the cost down on the PlayStation Four. So it was like an eighteen dollar profit different, and look how many PlayStation Fours has been sold. So I could see them definitely taking a loss on the digital, but they'll make it up with a regular one. I want the this one. It's going to be four K. Um, yeah, four K, and allegedly in the future support eight K with streaming and 8K disc if we ever make it to that. But mark my words, it's going to be like a $200 difference, I think. Which version will I get? Um, for me, I will probably get the one with the disc because I'm a nerd like that. I got to get the top of the line one when it comes to electronics. <laughs> But, but if I could, I will, uh, if I could get my hands on both, my camera messing up. Why is my camera messing up? If I could get my hands on both, I would get both. I would get one each. If I could get my hands on both, I would get one each. The one with the disc, I would keep at my desk and the uh, Digital one, I will keep at my entertainment center. 
Uh, my camera just messed up, you guys. Hold on. But yeah, I, I could definitely see this being like a two hundred dollar difference. There we go. Key, I love when you stream, man. Thank you so much, Xbox. Hey, y'all, I appreciate everybody that came through to watch this. Thank you for the freaking subs and the donations and the new members. Like, wow, you guys have killed it. Thank you so much. Like, I, I really appreciate you guys. Seriously. Now I got to do some editing and get some videos uploaded. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, man. I will be streaming on Twitch later on. So, if you guys um watch Twitch streamers, I'll be over there streaming later on tonight. I got to play that new season of Call of Duty and make some videos and do some more live reactions. But me being selfish, I would like the one with the disc to be backwards compatible. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's gonna go with the one with the disc because of that reason. Backwards compatible. It's 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 a preference and a money thing. You get me? Can't wait to play Fallout Vegas again on the PS5. <laughs> they haven't said anything about the VR, but there's also a rumor. You gotta love rumors. There is a rumor that they're coming out with another VR for the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation VR can work on this but there's a newer one allegedly coming out baby girl you out of control appreciate you though my <laughs> these youtube streams feel different but in a good way i see you on twitch later yep i'll be over there on twitch me and a rock um double s gonna run up if Xbox home, I'm going to get him in there too, but we're going to run up some Call of Duty. We got to play the Battle Pass. I haven't seen Call of Duty yet, so I got to do my reaction videos and all that, but I'll be over there, baby girl, tonight. Yeah, man. I said I was going to start streaming once a week on YouTube, probably Sundays, just to show love to the YouTube community. But, yeah. Like I said, if I can, I would definitely get my hands on both these consoles. Like seriously. I think I think that's the goal. My goal is to try and get both of these day one doing unboxing. And um I I was thinking this earlier. I didn't want to say it. I'm gonna see how my fun's looking. Don't quote me on it, because it might not happen. But I wanted to get two of these for me, and I actually wanted to get a third one and try and do like a giveaway for it, like a Christmas giveaway. I don't want to announce it like that. This probably be the last time y'all hear it to actually do it because I don't want people to subscribe just for gifts. Like I want to give back to the people that been here. So it's like, you get what I'm saying? So that is the plan. It's all about how much it costs. It's all about how many I can get my hands on and everything. They announced it on what what they announced? Hold on, what they announced? Hold on. So you got you got me looking now. Nah, they ain't that. I don't get any pre-orders. <laughs> they say the price would be. I think I did see something like that, and it was a fake rumor. I thought, but no, nah, I don't see nothing like that on here.
Don't play like that now. Yeah, that about the dog. Um, I might have to jump ship for the for the Xbox and join the PlayStation after this reveal. I agree. I mean, I'm getting both, so it don't matter. I ain't jumping ship for nothing. I need both in my hands, but um, <laughs> somebody got a cable box right here with two pieces of paper. <laughs> People out of control. It looks amazing, honestly. Yeah, man, it looks it looks really good. Like, can we get a side to side? I want to I want a side to side. But um, yeah, man. That's that's my plans. We're gonna see what happens. Like I said, it's all about how me if I could get my hands on it because I do want to give back and do something. For real. Amazon. <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. People not realizing. Good streams, check you on Twitch. All right, Keen, appreciate you, fam. Yeah, I'll be on there later on streaming tonight. It's 5.38 where I'm at now, so I'll probably be on there like around 7. And play some Call of Duty because I got to see the new season. So much love for Benny here, though. I'm not sure what's up with the digital and the non-digital PS5. Um, that, That's a smart move they did because PlayStation been having problems on keeping the price down on the PlayStation 5. They've been talking about that for the past two months. Like they can't get the price down to where it's a reasonable price because of what they have to pay to make it. So by them coming out with the digital, they are getting rid of the 4K HD drive that normally costs like $200 by itself probably, 100 to 200, and just come out with a digital one. Just like what Xbox did. Xbox came out with the sad edition and they have the Xbox one X like, and it's like a $200 difference. So because of that, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So, I mean, a lot of people can't afford to pay six, $700. Not saying it is six, 700 it could be five, four or 500. But if you can get a PlayStation five, for three hundred dollars, I bet you a Dewey. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Lockhart similar and digital. Yep, yep. I th I think they. Okay, so I was listening to a podcast, kind of funny podcast. You know, with Greg Miller and all them, and they was talking about the Lockhart supposed to be being shown at the Xbox press conference. And they end up making a phone call to Jeff, um, whatever his name is, the guy who made the game in the war and all that. And he kind of confirmed that there's a big buzz going around that Xbox is going to show the Lockhart at their event. Nobody didn't expect PlayStation to come out with this. So this was a complete curveball. They beat Xbox to the punch with that one. But... It's, it's smart. It's smart to have two different type of options. That's a hell of a business move. And they definitely, they definitely took that from the Xbox and nobody's not going to blame them from doing it. Cause that was a great business move. Honestly, when I saw the trailer for the game, it's like, boy, yeah, man. Glad he back. I was literally screaming at the top of my lungs, Little Big Planet. <laughs> I was just saying, like, I haven't played Little Big, Big Planet, but a lot of people are going to be happy for that game. I just said that when I was watching it. <laughs> like, a lot of people are going to be geek for that game. But, um, before I get out of here, let me ask you guys. With this press conference, Besides the way the PlayStation looked, like what was the top game, the two top games that caught you guys' attention, like get you excited? Like I didn't expect 
2K21 to be shown. I didn't expect a Hitman. Rumors were going around with Resident Evil, and I'm glad they showed it. It looks freaking amazing. Like, amazing. Resident Evil is my game. And people that have been over on Twitch seeing me play Resident Evil 2 and 3, day 1, and, and beating it. Like, Resident Evil is my game. But, um... Uh, yeah, man. Like, I, I want to know what are you guys' top two games? I played the game 11 years straight on the PS3. Man. Now you about to be playing it for another 11 years on the PS5. <laughs> it was my childhood game straight up. Yeah, man. Hitman was definitely a curveball for me. The Demolition Derby light game. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. You trying Curry in 2K? I never played with Google to stay warrior. Absolutely. Horizon and Resident Evil. X yes. X yes. Oh yeah, they're making Resident Evil for VR. 2K and Spider-Man. Halo on Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta see when it's to, um I'm gonna do a live stream. I'm doing a live stream of Ubisoft press conference. I think I put it up on my page. Let me see when these right quick. So I will be live streaming over here on YouTube of that. EA, I'll live stream EA as well. Let me see. When is Ubisoft? Oh, Ubisoft is July 12th. That's their, um, that's when they're doing theirs, July 12th. Nice. That's some ways to go. Yep. At this point, any type of multiplayer games need to be cross-play. I see you said cross-competitive, but games just need to be cross-play, period. We get to cross-save like what Destiny doing. Backwards-compatible need to be, but yeah, it, it need to be cross-play. I know, baby girl, I'm about to get out of here. I got to go, you guys, so I can do some editing, upload some videos, some reaction. Um, I'll be over there on a Twitch plan. So I hope to see you guys there. We can finish the discussion there. Thank you guys so much for the love, man. Like this has been an amazing stream. Yes. I'm playing call of duty and probably like an hour and a half, two tops. I will be over there streaming. So I'll be there. Yes. Thank you so much hero, man. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. And shout out to my homies. Yo, they call me. He showed love with the $100 donation, man. I thank you for that, dude. I appreciate that. Gaming became a member of the stream of the um, YouTube hookup. So he's a member of YouTube and Twitch. And I appreciate that, man. And you guys came through and showed love. So thank you. I, I want you guys to know that. Thank you so much. I will holler at y'all. Y'all be safe. Until the next stream, peace out.